Hello, good day YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Old Ben Rhino Hot Sauce Review. Now, um, some of you have known about the ongoing thing going on with me and a member of a hot sauce company here in Ontario. Uh, we did post a video yesterday showing some of the slander and great things, derogatory things that were being said by the uh, person employed in this company. And uh, really... I wasn't going on an attack, I wasn't doing anything, I was showing exactly word for word what was said. I got this from that video today, which is, Dear Albino Rhino, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content. And it gave me the content time, so I know who was uh, making that thing, which is the person that said, or tried to imply the things that they did um, anyway here we go so I read through all this and then I went over to Google and I read through the full definition of their privacy guidelines and you know what yeah okay your full names were on there I do apologize for that that your full names were visible um, however I did figure that if you were going to go into harassment and cyberbullying that your full name you weren't afraid of your full names being known uh, again, sorry for my misconstruing the idea that if you had the balls to do that, you would take the fall for what you did. Uh, so I have blacked out all the names, and I'm going to go through the stuff again. I'm going to take the original video down, I'll put the new video up after conversing with some YouTube people about the legality of what I have up and what I had to do to change that. Uh, again... I now know what is considered uniquely identifiable and what isn't. A uh, company name cannot be considered being uniquely identifiable. Uh, first name doesn't have to be either, but I was nice enough to delete all the first names out of it too. And anytime I say a name in the video, I will bleep it out as well. Uh, but anyway, some of these comments that were made are still up on my site, so you can still go and uh, see them on the Chetty's Hot Sauce videos. Uh, anyway, so let's come down to here. So this is how it all started. Now, it didn't even start on this hot sauce, which is funny, because this is the hot sauce that we really liked. Me and uh, Ali, Ali Handjob there, we both gave it an 8.75 out of 10. We both loved it. We were going to recommend it all the time to people. Uh, Chetty's Garlic Hot Sauce. This guy is clearly an idiot who can't read anything. Uh, this hot sauce, along with the other Chetty's hot sauce flavors, have no chemicals. Before calling yourself an expert in hot sauce reviews, you should probably learn a thing or two. The Chetty's products are all natural ingredients with no added preservatives and no added artificial flavoring. Now, this, I'm going to guess was in response to the jerk sauce video we did where we did bitch about some of the things in it uh, some of the things in the jerk sauce for instance if we come over here and we go over the jerk sauce we get the ingredients some of the things in that ingredients sugar white vinegar uh, tomato paste water uh, Worcestershire sauce malt vinegar hydrolyzed soy protein anchovies, spices, molasses, potassium benzoate, and right there is when we started making fun of chemicals. Uh, if you guys want to know the chemical breakdown of potassium benzoate, you can look it up. There's lots of sites to talk about. It. There's lots of sites to talk about what it does, what it is used for, and what it can do in the wrong amounts, and how it can build up in your system. So we talked about that. Then we have potassium sorbate, which we talked about as well. Uh, onion powder, garlic powder, jalapeno peppers, and onions... Uh, we also have sauces here that have natural flavor, like this one right here. Natural flavor. Um, citric acid, potassium sorbate. This is actually the one we were reviewing here. Uh, so this is the garlic sauce. So citric acid, potassium sorbate, and natural flavors. And we always talk about how natural flavors make us iffy. Again, if you want the definition of natural flavors, it's online. It's basically anything of nature used for flavoring rather than nutritional. Uh, you can get it from 
well, anything. I mean, there are companies that have taken it out of the anal cavities of animals. Uh, you can get it from yeast, you can get it anything natural that isn't used for nutrients but used for flavoring is natural flavor again there's a huge write-up of it i posted the write-up of it when we were talking about this and i explained that yeah by chemical we didn't necessarily mean artificially created chemicals we meant up compound which is uh what some of these are i mean there are a lot of these things that are considered natural even though they're not made naturally in nature so yeah but the they have no added preservatives uh, the question is did you add the potassium sorbate and the potassium benzoate because uh, they are food grade preservatives they are used to hinder the growth of mold and other such things in food uh, they're used in mostly liquids they're used in pops they're used in some beers they're used in some coolers they're used in a lot of things um so again if you put them in there it's added preservatives it's not added artificial preservatives it's still added preservatives and there are other things more natural than potassium benzoate you can use to have the same outcome anyway i understand why they're there it is a commercial company you want the stuff to be able to sit on the shelf longer than a few weeks to a few months so yeah i get it i get it however we are completely blunt in what we talk about and that's what we were talking about is chemicals that are in things that don't really need to be there Again, we still gave the sauce an 8.75 out of 10 for that one. We gave the uh, jerk sauce, I think we all range between 5 and 6 on the jerk. We weren't a huge fan of the jerk. The pineapple sauce, which is what we're going to get on next, I gave a 7 out of 10. And the uh, the lime hot, uh, we, we went back and forth between, uh, I think 6 was the lowest on the lime and 7.5 was the highest on the lime. So nothing there was something that we would tell somebody not to buy. It's just varying degrees of how much we liked it. Uh, so again, there's two sauces on here now. Now that I've done all, all five of them, there's two sauces that I really, really enjoyed, and one that you know had had an off part on it that I was going to buy a fresh bottle of to try again and uh, see how it went. And I won't now. But uh, yeah, so there was three. There's three sauces that I would normally recommend, and two sauces that I normally would have said, yeah, try them. I mean, I didn't like them, but they're not bad sauce. Uh, and you'll see why I can't. I can't recommend them anymore at all. I mean, again, make up your own mind. If you want to buy Chetty sauce, buy Chetty sauce. I'm not going to degrade you for it. I'm not going to belittle you for it. Uh, they are really good sauces. So if you want to buy them, buy them. Again, I just like people being educated on what's going on. It is a public interest story. That's right, I said public interest. Uh, because the public would usually like to know this stuff that's going on. Uh, so anyway, so we again, this is what started it all. Uh, there is no such thing as a hot sauce expert really even the big guys on on YouTube uh, the fire breathing idiot uh, Anyone that does big hot sauce stuff. There's no school to go to it's your taste. You're a chili head that loves chili That's what you are. Uh, you might be an expert on growing chili peppers. You might be an expert on uh, well, you might have a really successful hot sauce company, but there is nothing that gives you a diploma that says chili expert or hot sauce expert. So, yeah, whatever. This was the first one. And then, one second, guys, I am legally blind. That's right, legally blind. I bring that up because of some other stuff that's going to go on later. I get this. So, after, after we conversed back and forth, and I said, I don't understand the hatred for a sauce that we actually really love, because he was posting it on the wrong sauce video to begin with. Um... I got, I also apologize for my words earlier, that was wrong with me. And I thought nothing of it, I thought it was all over, yeah, it was all over, okay. You were the troll of the week this week, because you were the one that made me laugh the most when you sent me your message, but I thought it was over. Then, I get a friend of mine saying, hey man, you must have butt hurt this person pretty good, because it's all over their Facebook wall. So this is their, their Facebook wall, their... One second, let's zoom in here. I absolutely hate this dumb fuck meathead fat douchebag. Anyone who comments on this supporting Chetty's hot sauce will receive a free bottle from me, 10 max. And my link, there I am. This was the pineapple hot sauce. The pineapple hot sauce I gave a 7 out of 10. I said it was kind of mediocre in flavor. Uh, and I did like it. You could put it on anything, but it wasn't anything super special. And I talked about a chalky texture. I said maybe it's because of the pineapple juice. Uh, yeah, I didn't say real pineapple. We're going to go on to that next too. But uh, 
anyone that's ate pineapple or drank pineapple juice knows that it has that weird thick texture and I thought maybe that was it because it was real stuff not processed stuff um, but then I started noticing bubbles in the bottle and I realized that it was an accidental fermentation case which can make it chalky uh, it does happen I mean I'm not saying they're dirty or anything like that I mean any any company can have accidental fermentation or accidental contamination I mean you even have Molson Molson could have accidental things happen with their beers and they they have laboratories to make their stuff in so I mean for the most part you're looking at this could happen to anybody and yeah so we got this then right Sorry, I'm trying to zoom in so that I can zoom the camera in and not screw everything up. He thinks it's chalky because of pineapple juice? Probably because we don't use pineapple juice, you fucking moron. It's called fresh pineapple. Apparently you don't know what that tastes like. Uh, fresh pineapple basically tastes like high-end pineapple juice. Just with a different texture since, you know, it's the same stuff. It's just like high-end orange juice and oranges taste the same. High-end apple juice and apples taste the same. But, uh... He should wear glasses while trying to read. Moron. So, I I'm being called a moron because I have to hold a bottle close to my face because I'm legally blind. Uh, by legally blind and my no glasses thing, it is the optic nerve on my eye that is the problem, not the shape of my eye, so conventional glasses don't do anything. I can wear them just to get bifocals on them so that I get a magnifying glass, or I could hold a magnifying glass, or I could read the bottle. Which is what I did. Yeah, it has to go close to my face to see it, but I could read the bottle. You're the bigger man, this guy is something else. I, see, I don't understand the you're the bigger man comment, um, because I think he's had a lot of semen in his mouth in his day. Thank you for making fun of gay people. Uh, it's hard to be the bigger man against a size 52 waist. Again, I don't wear a size 52 waist. And again, thank you uh, very much for proving that I am the bigger man. As I'm not doing a personal attack whatsoever, I'm not doing this stuff. I'm just showing exactly what you said. Exactly what's been said. And that's it. That's the bigger man. I tried to walk away, I was walking away, until I saw this stuff on your Facebook. I don't know what I'm talking about, that's fine. You can say that, I, I accept that one. What a joke, keep up the hard work. I put it on everything I can, both of those, sure, those are fine. Look like I'm eating the bottle. Chili salt sauce the only time you'll eat glass. I just made a goodie, go read. Uh, you guys can read what that was written on. Uh, yeah. So, anyway. That one was basically, uh, all my friends like it, I don't know how you could say it's mediocre, get glasses. And I'll put something in that guy's mouth and give him some weird texture. And yeah, uh, I hope, again, I hope it's durian fruit that you put in my mouth, because I've never tried durian fruit, and I'm very interested to try it, and I hear, I hear that it has a very interesting texture. So, uh... This this was that stuff, and then I got the privacy complaint because he, he didn't like that he was being shown on what he was saying, which is fine. Again, I apologize for that. Uh, again, I'm not attacking you whatsoever. I'm letting people see exactly what you had to say. You want to apologize to me and then do this anyway, so it's, it's in your court there, buddy. 
It's in your court. You're the one that brought it to this level. You're the one that didn't just accept some criticism or figure out what we were talking about. You just heard something bad about some, well, somebody saying something that they didn't like about the hot sauce company that is yours. And that's fine. I mean, I want my I want my beer owners to be passionate. I want my liquor owners to be passionate. I want my hot sauce owners to be passionate. I want the company to be passionate. However, I don't want the company to not accept that not everybody's going to love their stuff. I don't want the company to freak out because somebody doesn't like their stuff. Basically, what this was, was it became a personal attack against me for saying that a sauce was mediocre. Or for making fun of ben potassium benzoate in a sauce. Or... But still liking the sauces. Like, we are blunt. The whole group is blunt. That's part of the show. We are blunt and to the point. We make fun of things. We have fun with it. It's it's a lot of jokes. And most brewers and most hot sauce companies know us and don't mind it. They think it's funny. Which is fine. If you didn't think it was funny, then you didn't think it was funny. However, if you're going to get all up in arms because we didn't like a sauce, that's a totally different thing. Anyway, I'm done talking about this now. I've taken all your information out. You can just accept it or not accept it. It doesn't matter. Uh, I am now fully in my rights according to the YouTube policies. I still have the original screenshots and I'm going to have them. And I'm not going to say anything bad about great. The garlic sauce is great. The original sauce is great. The pineapple sauce, it might have been great if it hadn't gone chalky on me. But... I'll never know. Uh, the jerk sauce and the lime sauce, the jerk sauce would have been a good marinade, sure. I understand why the potassium benzoate's there. It's there to help break down the meat. Uh, you could have used other things to do that. They're not as cheap, but you could have used it. And they will affect flavor, but you could use other things. Um, the lime sauce, it, it was good. It just, I've had better lime sauces. I mean, don't get me wrong, it was good. And for those of people that wanted to support local, it was a great choice. But... Here's my biggest problem with this whole thing. My biggest problem with this whole thing now is that you did do this. You did do it. And then you tried to hide behind a privacy issue. It's not right. It's not. It's just not right. It's not right that people can go around and do that and then hide behind a privacy issue. I accept you don't appreciate my... My opinion, that's fine. My opinion is my opinion. I am allowed to have my opinion on this. Again, thank you for making the sauces. Thank you for letting me try them. Not a thank you for this. Alrighty, guys. Uh, the review will co be coming up as well right after this with all the guys. And I am going to, uh, again, dub out anything I say that shouldn't be there. So thank you. Bye. Now... I am going to release my very long curls before I get made fun of. Yeah, I'm throwing it for locks of love. Sorry that my hair is a mess. It is a supreme, supremely curly hair. So again, Chetty's garlic, uh, original. Chetty's original. Let's we'll see. Huh? Colgate. There you go, good sirs. Just a spoonful. You don't have any then? You got yours? No? Yeah. It does smell very good though. It smells it smells very fresh. Lots of pepper scent, lots of garlic scent, lots of spices. By spices I mean salt, garlic, and pepper. Nice citrus scent. Mm -hmm. yeah. it smells good. Yeah, getting smells a very good. bonnet peppery smell from yeah. it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very, very, very citrusy mm -hmm. from the pepper. I do also smell the vinegar. Well, yes, of course. Well, That's you're going to smell vinegar in almost any sauce. Mm -hmm. I mean, in all honesty, vinegar is going to be a smell that comes off on most things, unless they're very yeah. overpowering. We, we've had a few here where it wasn't the first thing you smelt, and it was really odd, mm -hmm. and they were really hot, and it kind of hurt. <laughs> all right, so let's try it, guys. All right, cheers. 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 It is good sauce. It's a very good sauce. Oh, I really like that. It's got a nice whole mouth heat. It's not just like one area of your tongue. Yeah, it's not the bottom of your tongue. It's not the top of your mm -hmm. tongue. It fills the whole mouth. It's a great pepper flavor. Garlic, salt, all there. Uh, exactly what you want in a hot sauce. Mm -hmm. um, 
a little hotter than most normal people could use. Mm -hmm. But again, it's a sauce that you could put on anything. You could put it on your eggs. You could put it on your pizza. You could put it on your oh. tacos. There it goes. <laughs> and we got the hiccups right now. Um, <laughs> I still think the garlic sauce has the best flavor of them all. But this is a great hot sauce. Unfortunately, I'm never <laughs> going to be able to buy it again. Well, I, I wouldn't go as far as great. I'm getting, I'm getting an unpleasant bitterness. I think there might be um, too much seed going on. Um, and I don't think it was balanced from the vinegar enough. Um, it smelt sweet, it tasted peppery, and then it became bitter and then hot. The finish isn't very good. The intent is there, the freshness is there, it's very nice. But, you know, rating it as a hot sauce, we've had some things that were a lot more balanced than that. And as a general sauce, as a, like the original like staple sauce, I don't think I can get behind it. Hiccupy? <laughs> Give me hiccups. It's a good sauce. Uh, there's not much I can say, really. Well, yeah, you're too busy uh, hiccuping. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's just kind of like an amped up Frank's. It's not over the top hot. It's a bit hotter than what I think most people would be used to. As far as, you know, Frank's being what most people are used to. It's okay. What makes it really hot is the seeds, though. Like, well, they're there. They linger. They're there, right? But they're they also linger, provide, there. like I said, that bitterness. It's taking all the things that should be really pleasant about this sauce and very, very everyday sort of thing, and it's taking it out um, as a hot sauce, hot sauce. I like it. It's harder than regular sauces. It has that bitterness. It tastes like real peppers. I'm into it. I like yeah, it. Yeah, I do too. I like it. I like it too. Now again, we I said going into this that we were going to be as open as we could, mm -hmm. and I'm being open. Um, I like this sauce. I like the garlic sauce more than this. I like this. Then I'd go to the lime. Then I'd go to the pineapple. Then I'd go to the jerk. Uh, I if I was up. going through this company, I again, I no longer can get behind it because of their ever. I'm not saying don't buy it. I'm saying make your own choice. Here, sauces are actually very good. Mm -hmm. um, Patrick Chetty, the owner of this company, makes some awesome sauces. Pure, traditional Caribbean sauces. Mm -hmm. They're not all for everybody. Everybody has a different taste palette. Here's something. Because in her purse, she had her pineapple sauce. And her and her friends love that pineapple sauce. And slathered it on everything. That's great. Not everybody loves everything. If they everybody did, loves pineapple. If they did, there'd be a I lot of people just drinking Bud. There is a lot of people just drinking Bud, but there'd be nobody drinking anything else. No. Um, again, not saying that your sauce is the butt of the sauce world, because it isn't. I mean, Frank's and Tabasco is the butt of the sauce world. Absolutely. But uh, what I'm saying is, every different person has a different amount of receptors on their tongue for sweetness, for sourness, for everything else. Uh, get used to not everybody loving your sauce. A 7 out of 10 means I would have bought it again. A 7 out of 10 doesn't mean it's the worst thing. That's a 70% from a guy that's reviewed on YouTube. What, 150 hot sauces now? Suck it up, buttercup. Yeah, basically, suck it up, buttercup. Uh, thank you for watching, guys. Please remember, now that your your Facebook page is finally private, that you can rate, rant on me as much as you want. However, you probably shouldn't do stuff in public anymore. You probably shouldn't. It's It's not a smart thing to do. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.